Hi, I'm a school principal and I'm an essential worker. My job is to make sure that we have all of the things that we need so that we can educate kids in times like this. Hi, kindergartners. I sure miss seeing your cute little faces. I hope you're having some fun at home and learning too. I know Miss Wendy has some really neat things planned for you guys at home. I want to tell you about how a librarian is an essential person, essential worker. You know, you learn, kids and students learn lots of things in school. They learn about math and reading from their teachers. But a library is a place where you can learn extra. You can, if you're curious about something and you want to know more answers, a library has it. They have tons of information. That's the information place. So even when you get big and are grown up, a library still is a place where you can get lots of information. Maybe you're wondering about something about science or a question. Maybe when you're young, you wonder, how, why is the sky blue? You can find answers in the library. You, you, that's called doing research to find answers to questions. Another really big reason librarians and libraries are essential is they, have, they keep you reading. You know, you can never read enough. It's just the more you read, the better you read. And the better you read, the more fun it is. So when you want to read more, a library has tons of books and other information and sources that you can use to read. So a library helps a person learn and grow smarter and, and just get more interesting facts all their lives. It's there for people from when they're a little bitty toddler till when they get, even when they're old, they go to the library. Librarians and libraries can be essential. So y'all have a great time at home. Be careful, stay safe. And I know you're gonna learn a lot from Miss Wendy. Bye. Hello, kindergarten kids. This is Miss Hesse, and I know I may not look like I'm together like I am at school, but you see, I'm an essential worker. I am a teacher, and so I've been staying up nights and, and, and getting up early in the morning and trying to figure out great things to do for at-home assignments for my students, and, and I've been looking, and I can't sleep. I, I look, I don't even have any makeup on. Oh, that's how essential I am. There's no time for makeup when you're essential. That means you have to do what you need to do to help other people. Like, like I, 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 look, look at all these these pencils and things, and, and and I can't find anything. I've lost my books. I can't find them. But I did have one book that I wanted for kindergarten because you are essential to me. You know, for teachers, what makes us essential is you. You're what makes us essential. And we care about you and we miss you. And I found this really big book I love, and it's called Yoga Bunny. And I think it's essential that you read Yoga Bunny. Maybe Miss maybe Miss Wendy will ask me to read Yoga Bunny. Oh, it's so good. And you can do the yoga moves. But I, I don't know. I just want you to know I'm so essential that I can't even wash my hair. I can't put on my makeup. Uh, I have had a bath. That's good. Uh um, let me see. And I'm trying to remember what else. And, and anyway, y'all, you all are going to have a great, great time at home. And we miss you so much, but I, got, I can't talk to you any longer. I'm essential. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, kindergarten. It's Miss Bradley. And I just wanted to let you know that I am an essential worker because I am a teacher. And what makes me essential is because it is my job to make sure that I am educating students. And we need to make sure that you know everything you need to know in order for you to be able to go on to the next grade. And then one day be able to go pick out a job of your own and help out um, your community. What you might not know about Miss Bradley is that she also helps her dad out on the farm. So he's definitely an essential worker as well. And what that means is he will have to make sure that he is um, planting the crops, uh, which would be rice. So that's something we can eat. So he plants the crops, he takes care of them, and then he harvests them, which means he'll cut all the crops and send them. So it's very essential to have people like teachers and farmers who are making sure that we have things that we need, like an education and food on the table. I know I'm a teacher, so that makes me essential. 
But during this time right now, I'm not as essential as all the rest of the teachers. They are doing a tremendous job. Ms. Pam, Ms. Becky, and all your teachers are doing a wonderful job. At this point, and then during this situation, being a grandma is what's making me be essential. I am helping my daughter so she can go to work certain times and help provide for her family. And so I am taking care of the grandbabies. I'm also helping on the farm a little bit because farmers are very essential and I'm married to a farmer. My grandson is riding a tractor right now. And so right now being a grandma is making me very essential. Uh, all of you be safe. I miss you all and can't wait to see you.